was pushed to a photo finish by the 1981 renewal. Four times champion jockey Josh Gifford had never won the race, but he was now a leading trainer and had a major prospect in the shape of Aldeniti, back in action after a bout of severe leg trouble. It's Caro Boy with a spotted cap. Aldeniti was spotted there just in behind Spartan Missile. If Aldeniti's presence in the 1981 field represented triumph over adversity, the presence of his rider, Bob Champion, was nothing short of a miracle. Less than two years earlier, Champion had been diagnosed with testicular cancer. Throughout his long and painful treatment and slow progress towards recovery, the light at the end of the tunnel was kept aglow by Josh Gifford's oft-repeated assurance that his job as stable jockey would be waiting for him and that he would ride Aldeniti in the national. But this race had more than one story to tug the heartstrings, for the hotly fancied Spartan missile was ridden by his owner, trainer and breeder, John Thorne, who was attempting to become the oldest ever national winning jockey at the age of 54. Spartan missile started 8 to 1 favourite, with Aldeniti 10 to 1 and 1979 winner Rubstick third choice at 11 to 1. Get those hankies ready. Starts them and they're away. And running to the first fence and Tenny Coon, one of the first to show. Martin's Town going up to join him. Pacify on the outside. Coral Festival on the inner. And it's Tenny Coon, Coral Festival, Caro Boy. Senator McLacurry, Martin's Town up there with them and Kylo Glady and Drum Rowan also and Pacify and as they cross the Melling Road it's Tanner Coon from Senator McLacurry, Zongaliero, Choral Festival, Drum Rowan and Pacify as we join John Hanmer. And they're almost at the first now and Pacify one of the leaders just about the first to rise. No fallers amongst the leading group though towards the back another captain is down and also Barney McCleavy is down and the leader's now at the second and it's Pacify over first from Kylo Glady and I can't see a fourer at the second but as they go to the third it's Pacify from Kylo Glady then in third place on the outside Kininvi then Caro Boy and over the big ditch a bad mistake by Dramore they appear still up there but they're all over the third and over to Julian Wilson Pacify leads coming into the fourth and over it. Pacify from Caro Boy towards the inside. Also towards the inside. Zongaliero is prominent. Chumson is down. Chumson is down at that one. And also towards the outside. Uh, Del Moss is down as they come. And Brown Baru has been pulled up and over that one. It was Caro Boy who led over it from towards the inside. Zongaliero on the outside is Pacify. Kininvi is right up there on the outside. Kininvi leads as they run down towards Beaches from Pacify. On the inside is Coral Festival. Then Zongaliero and Caro Boy as they come to Beaches. Kininvi, Caro Boy. And all the leaders are over Beaches. In fact, practically everything has jumped Beaches. There's a couple of mistakes at the back, Drow Moore mistake, but they're all over Beaches Brook and come down to the seventh now as Caro Boy leads over it. From Coral Festival in second, Zongaliero third, then Kininvi. Behind Kininvi is Tenekoon. Behind those is Lord Gulliver. Then comes Kylo Glady and Pacify, then Drum Rowan and then Royal Mail. On the wide outside is Sebastian as the leaders come towards the canal turn. And at the canal, it's Caro Boy who leads over it from Coral Festival in second. A bad mistake there by Lord Gulliver, but he's got away with it. Another prospect is a faller at the canal turn. And over it last is no gypsy, but now they jump Valentine's and Caro Boy leads over it from Coral Festival in second, then Royal Mail on the inside and Kanimbi on the outside, then Zongaliero, then Tenekoon and then Kylo Glady and Pacify. And well, on the outside going well is Elden Edius. We rejoin John Hammer. And Caro Boy fell when in the lead. Drum row and went at Valentine's, incidentally. And Kanimbi is also down there. The tailed off ones are so and Dramore. And as they go to the next, it's Zongaliero from Alden Eated, Lord Gulliver. And the fall at the back of the field was Tenor Coon. So and Dramore still tailed off as they go to the next. Zongaliero leads from Alden Eated, then Lord Gulliver. And Sebastian and Royal Stewart and Kylog Lady and Spartan Missile right up there. Just in behind them is Pacify, then comes Royal Mail and Rubstick. 
and Drumore has refused as we rejoin Peter O'Sullivan. And it's Aldenidi on the inside from Sebastian. Just in behind them come Royal Stewart, then Lord Gulliver on the inside, then comes Zongaliero, then Kylo Glady, then Spartan Missile, then Cheers. Just in behind Cheers is Pacify, then Rubstick. Behind Rubstick is Royal Mail. Then comes Coral Festival. Behind Coral Festival is Senator Macla Curry, and they're coming down now towards the next, and it's Sebastian Aldeniti, Royal Stewart. These three just ahead of Zongaliero and Lord Gulliver. Then Spartan Missile and Cheers. And over this one, Sebastian, Aldeniti, and Lord Gulliver have fallen there. Lord Gulliver has gone at that one. A very bad mistake, too, by my friendly cousin. And it's Aldeniti, Sebastian, Zongaliero, Royal Stewart, Rubstick just in behind them, then Pacify, then comes Spartan Missile and Kylo Glady. And they're running down now towards the chair. And as they do so, it's Aldeniti over on the far side from Zongaliero. Rubstick and Sebastian are behind them, Kylo Glady. Royal Stewart right up with them on the near side. Over the chair, Aldeniti lands in the lead from Royal Stewart. Sebastian behind her, Sebastian is Zongaliero, then comes Rubstick and Kylo Glady and Royal Stewart and Royal Mail rather and over the water. It was Royal Stewart in the lead from Aldeniti. In third place Sebastian, four is Zongaliero, five and six are Kylo Glady and uh, Rubstick. Just in behind them come Pacify, Royal Mail, Senator McLacurry, Spartan Missile, three to one. Royal Exile making ground on the inside with uh, Casamayor. Just in behind them come Cheers. And as they come to the Melling Road now, it's Rubstick on the inside of Zongolero. Aldeniti up there on the outer with Sebastian and ra racing wide of them, Royal Stewart. Just in behind them, Royal Mail. Then Royal Exile still making progress and over to John Hanmer. And Rubstick on the inside, just the leader from Aldeniti. Then Sebastian and Aldeniti, in fact, landed in front. And going to the next, it's Aldeniti from Robstick, and Kylo Glady was the faller at the 17th. Going to the 18th, Aldeniti, Robstick, Royal Stewart, Pacify, Sebastian, Zongoliero, Royal Mail creeping up on the inner. Spartan Missile not far behind them towards the outside. Coming to the 19th fence, the open ditch, and Aldeniti in the lead. Jumps it first from Rubstick, a mistake by Royal Stewart, then Pacify, and the back markers all jumping well except for three of Diamonds who nearly went. And Dia Piero has refused at that and has ended up in the ditch as they jump the 20th and over to Julian Wilson. And Alden Eady and Bob Champion lead over it, and Royal Stewart was a faller there. And running down to the next, it's Alden Eady from Rubstick in second, Pacify towards the outside, then comes Royal Mail towards the outside, Spark Missile is there and going well, and over that one, Alden Eady leads from Pacify and Rubstick, then comes Royal Mail, then Senator McLecurie, then 3 to 1 and Spark Missile towards the outside, then Casamayor, then a gap back to Royal X as the leaders run down to Beaches for the second time with Bob Champion leading the field on Aldeniti at Beaches. Aldeniti over, pacifies the ball of there, Rupstick's over. Then Royal Mail behind that, and then three to one, then Senator McLeary. Zongalier is a faller there. Spartan Missile still in the race as they come to the 23rd fence. Aldeniti over from Rubstick and Royal Mail. Behind those is Senator McLeary, then three to one, then Spartan Missile on the outside of Royal Exile. Then comes Might Be. On the inside of that one is Rathlek. Then there's a gap back to Casamayo as the leaders come to the canal turn. And it's still Bob Champion and Aldeniti. He's over from Royal Mail over in second. Rubstick third, Senator McLeary behind that and uh, over just three behind that was Spartan Missile as the leaders run up to Valentine's Brook and Aldeniti is over stood right back at it and three of Diamonds has gone at the back but it's Aldeniti from Royal Mail then Rubstick then Senator McLeary and three to one then Spartan Missile and Royal Exile and might be as we rejoin John Hanmer and Aldeniti has jumped the fifth from home in the lead from Royal Mail then comes Rubstick and three to one and might be a faller, and as they go to the last open ditch, the fourth from home, it's Aldeniti, closely pressed by Royal Mail, then three to one, challenging Rubstick for third place, then Senator McLeary, Spartan Missile, Royal Exile, Rathlek, and Casamayor, and there aren't many behind that, as they go to the third last, it's Aldeniti, closely pressed now by Royal Mail.
Martin's Town has gone there. Three to one's in third place. Fourth is Senator Mac Lecari. Spartan Missile just passing Rub Stick. But as they go across the Melling Road, it's Alderniti from Royal Mail. Senator Mac Lecari, three to one. Spartan Missile, Rub Stick and Royal Exile. And back to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's all the needy from Royal Mail, just about three lengths between them. Senator Macla Curry is about five lengths back in third, then comes three to one, then Spartan Missile, then Royal Exile and, and Rubstick, and they're virtually the only ones left in the national now. All the needy and Bob Champion from Philip Blacker on Royal Mail, Senator Macla Curry is in third place. Fourth is three to one, then comes Spartan Missile and Royal Exile as they come down towards the second last fence now. All the needy being pressed still by Royal Mail. All the needy and Bob Champion. Champion land in the lead. Royal Mail made a bad mistake, went through it. Senator McLeary jumped it third. Spartan Missiles now moving into fourth. Then comes three to one. Then Royal Exile. They're coming to the final fence now in the national. And it's Alden Eady and Bob Champion in the lead. Alden Eady jumps it two lengths clear of Royal Mail. Spartan Missile jumps it third and is finishing strongly. Then comes Senator McLeary and three to one. It's Alden Eady now being pressed by Royal Mail and Spartan Missile is still finishing strongly. It's Alden Eady though as they come to the elbow. They've got over a furlong to run, and it's Alden Eady in the lead, but being pressed now by Spartan Missile. It's Alden Eady from Spartan Missile, and here comes John Thorne, 54-year-old John Thorne, putting in a storming finish. It's Alden Eady from Spartan Missile. Alden Eady is going to win it at the line. Alden Eady wins the national. Spartan Missile is second. Royal Mail is just third ahead of 3-1. to one. Senator McLeary is fifth. Behind them is Royal Exile, sixth, and Rubstick, the former winner, is seventh. Coolish. A truly emotional occasion, and it's no wonder that the 1981 race produced a best selling book and the highly successful feature film, Champions. And so, a fairy tale outcome to the 1981 Grand National.